Is that a bird? No, it's a plane. Nah. Nah, man, it's Captain Kurt. Oh, wait till you see Captain Kurt. You're gonna be like, fuck. What's good? It's your boy, Captain Kurt, and this is another episode of Country Rap News. If you're listening on Ride 95, shout out to y'all. If you're watching this on YouTube, I appreciate it. If you have not subscribed to my channel, do so right now. Hit that like button. Leave a comment, man. Show your boy some love. So, uh, man, we got a lot going on in Country Rap right now. A whole lot. So, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna jump into news. And uh, we're going to go from there. But before I get to news, I want to make sure y'all know this. Every Saturday at 10 a.m. on Ride 95, slide on over to Live 365, open it up, scroll over to the radio station Ride 95, and this episode and all my other episodes of the Country Rap News will air every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. on Live 365, and then the channel is Ride 95. So go tune in over there. If you're listening over there, much love. I appreciate you. All right, first up, we got some sad news, man. Um, Kylie Rodney, I covered her on my channel. Uh, Ryan is is stressing big right now about Kylie, and uh, so all of Creek Squad is. And uh, they they found her body. Uh, Kylie Rodney's body was located. It is an ongoing investigation. Uh, prayers. And love are going out to the family, man. To all the family and friends, prayers and love. This is crazy, man. I, it it saddens me to even think about this. I have three kids, and I couldn't imagine this happening. Prayers to the family. Prayers to the parents. Prayers to the friends. Prayers to anybody that need a prayer regarding this situation, man. Love you. All right. On to some, some lighter news. All right, man. We got Chase Matthews. Tomorrow will be live in Athens, Georgia. It is a free meet and greet. So if you have a chance, go over to Chase Matthews Instagram. I'm sure it's posted on Instagram, his Facebook. Check it out, man. I'm sure they got an address. Go check go check out Chase Matthews. I'm going to look to see if I can find an address and I will post it in this video. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Chase Matthews, you can go over to ChaseMatthews.com and it has all the information. All right, man. So next up, Ying Yang Twins, the ranch kickback and video shoot. Mr. Kali Park, Simple Man, and Big Murph will be in attendance. The attire, cowboy, cowgirl, country western. DM Vic from the Country Rap Report. You can either hit Vic up on Instagram, Facebook. Man, this, guy, this man has every social media platform, as he should, man. If you're listening to this and you're a country rap artist or if you're an artist, period. Use your social media platforms. Promote your music. Talk to your fans. Engage with your people, man. It goes a long way. It really does. So I'm going to tell y'all again, Ying Yang Twins at the Ranch Kickback. Kickback and video shoot. Mr. Kali Park, Simple Man, Big Murph will all be in attendance. The attire for this is Country uh, Western, Cowboy Cowgirl, DM to RSVP August 28th. It is a private location. They will have food, drinks. There will be a pool there. And uh, bring that positive energy, man. Positive energy is going to be there. Make sure you show up with positive energy. Oh, one other thing. Attractive females are highly encouraged to participate. So if, you, if you're shaking that thing and you know you can shake that thing and you look good doing it, go over to Vic, hit them up, man, and go be a part of that. That's going to be epic. That is going to be epic. And yo, that... I'm pretty sure if y'all have been listening to my news, you know that the Ying Yang Twins and Mr. Kali Park, Big Murph, Simple Man, all these right here is they're, they're telling you these artists that are performing that's going to be there, that's going to be in attendance. Uh, we're putting they're putting something crazy together, man. Uh, they're putting together Welcome to the Country Club, and that's going to be produced by Mr. Kali Park, and that's coming soon. So uh, there's a good chance, man. We got the Ying Yang Twins, we got Ranch Kickback, yo. I think. I think uh, if you show up and you show out and you hang out at this, you might be featured in a music video. So go check that out. August 28th, make sure you hit Vic up from the Country Rap Report, Riding Dirty Radio on Instagram, Riding Dirty. Yeah, I think it's Riding Dirty Radio. It's either Riding Dirty Radio or Riding Dirty TV. Hit me up. I'll get you in contact with the right people. All right, man. Next up, we got Seth Anthony and Hard Target were supposed to do shows in Iowa and Wisconsin coming up. Those shows have been rescheduled. Uh, I seen a post from Target. 
it was out of their control, nothing they could do. They will definitely make it up to the fans. So uh, sorry about that. If y'all had shows there, they are being rescheduled. But stay tuned because I'm sure they got something coming soon for y'all. All right, man. We got Ryan Upchurch in the news. Rolling Suds, I need you to give me a shout. I need you to come to the house and detail the Hellcat to get ready to send to Adventures of Purpose. Holler at me. Ryan offered up the Hellcat to anyone that had any tips that could locate Kylie. And nobody came with anything other than Adventures with Purpose. Shout out to Adventures with Purpose. Y'all are amazing, man. Um, I've been watching y'all for a long time, and what you do to bring closure to these families is, is truly amazing. Um, yo, if you have not checked out Adventures with Purpose, head over to their YouTube now, subscribe to their channel, show them some love, man. Uh, these dudes, what they're doing is crazy, man, because most of these people, I've seen a lot of cases that were 30 years, 35 years, even five years. That's a long time to not know what happened to your loved one or your friend. And uh, these these guys are bringing closure uh, to the families, and, and that's awesome, man. We need more people like that. We really do. Ryan offered up his Hellcat, like I said, to anybody that had some tips to locate her. And the only people that came through is Adventures with Purpose. So Ryan will be delivering the Hellcat to Adventures with Purpose. Uh, he just cleaned it out, got it nice and pretty. Shout out to uh, Rolling with Suds. If you need the detail in Tennessee, Nashville area, Cheatham County area, hit up Kenny, Rolling with Suds. I'll leave a link in my description. I'll also leave his logo right here. You can find him on Instagram, Rolling with Suds. Ryan is going to either give them that Hellcat. They do not want the Hellcat. He is making a donation to their page for the exact amount that he bought the Hellcat at. Yo, that is awesome, man. That is awesome. Shout out to Ryan for that. That's really cool, man. He's definitely a man of his word. Any of y'all doubters out there that do not think my man is going to do what he says he's going to do, look at this. That's what's up. All right, man. Next up, we got Jelly Roll. <clears throat> Jelly Roll added two more shows to his Son of Center tour. Uh, the tickets go on pre-sale Tuesday, which was yesterday. <clears throat> you can use the code Center, um, and that will allow you to get the pre-sale tickets. If not, tickets to the public will go on sale Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern. And, uh, yo, one of them's going to be in Tennessee on November 5th, Johnson City, Tennessee, and the other one's going to be in Pikeville, Kentucky on November 6th. From everything that I've seen uh, on social media and on YouTube, Jelly Roll puts on an amazing show. You cannot miss this. If you're in that area, go get you some tickets because that's going to be epic. Shout out to Jelly Roll. Keep doing you, man. You're propelling yourself way beyond what anybody thought you could. And uh, that's what this is all about, man. Keep doing you. Rise to the top, homie. All right, man. And that's going to bring us right on in to uh, the one and only Captain's Chronic. So I want y'all to go check this out, man. And uh, yo, this is dope. This whole, just let me show you. What's good? It's your boy, Captain Curtin, on this week of Captain's Chronic. We got the homies Simple Man and Bredwin DeVille. The name of this EP is No Outlet. Yo, these homies got some bangers on this. Uh, we're going to listen to one of my favorites. It's featuring Paul Paul Fresh on the Talk Box. The name of this song is Batty, and check this out. This day is hey, this girl a bad and bad. Slip sliding in that big body. That wheel well getting caked up. Baby girl don't ever stay stuck. She hit the thick mud harder than Nick Chubb. She'd rather have dirt on the grill than some makeup. We don't ever stop. Bartender keep that diesel coming Cause she gon' drink every drop She a baddie Guess I'm a sugar daddy Because I get up in her Then I give her everything she got We just Yo, that's what's up, man Hey, and don't let it fool you, man I know Pop Off Fresh was on that talk box But go check him out, man Homie's got bars Homie has got bars Simple Man and Breadwin, man Shout out to y'all Y'all are doing big things in this genre I appreciate everything you do for country rap And uh, keep doing it Shout out to Trailer May Records if you have not checked out Trailer May Records, they got a lineup full of fire, man. Go check them out. Hard Target, Dirty, Florida Dolph, Simple Man, The Sticks, Bredwin DeVille. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. So go check them out. Next week, man, y'all stay tuned because we're going to have another episode of Captain's Chronic and you never know your favorite might get, your favorite artist might get featured on that. So make sure y'all turn tune in next week. Yeah. I was fire, wasn't it? 
yo, I needed some Redwin and Simple Man, and they did a whole EP, man, and that was right on time. I love the way they sound together. Uh, Breadwin is such a, I don't know how to explain it, but he's so uh, precise on his delivery. Like he, I feel like he pays a lot of attention when he comes and when he goes, how he transitions in and out of the verses. And I really like that about Breadwin. And Simple Man is a lyrical genius. So with those two together, man, their music is a hit, bro. It really is. If you got some time, go check out Simple Man. Go check out Breadwin DeVille. Go check out Paw Paw Fresh. Slide over to their YouTubes. Show them some love. And with that, it pushes us right into music. And first up, right out the chute, we got Mr. Ryan Upchurch. And the name of the song is Superstar. A whole video, the song, the video, everything drops on Thursday. I am so excited for this, man. I heard a little bit of, of a snippet of the song, man. And, yo, Church is bringing some fire with this one. Uh, the, the way that the overlays on top of the beat have that spaceship vibe, man. I, I really like it, man. I really do. I think that uh, Church is super talented. And the way that, shout out to Stone Baby Sounds. I don't know. I'm sure you're the one that produced this, man. But, uh, yo, the way his voice lines up so well with the beat, everything runs so smoothly, man. Y'all got to, y'all are killing it over there. Keep killing it. Keep doing you, man. And uh, I know you will. Nobody, hey, Creek Squad loves y'all the way you are. And I know y'all know that. Keep doing you. All right, man. Next up, we got Ski Mask Cowboy. Ski Mask Cowboy has done something that I love. I love when, when country rap artists do this or any artist in general. He jumped on a cover. This is actually a challenge. He's doing the dollar for dollar challenge, which is very smart. I feel like very strategic in what Ski Mask did. Shout out to Ski Mask Cowboy. I love what he's doing over there. If you got some time, go check out Ski Mask Cowboy. All right, man. Next up, we got Stone Miller. Stone Miller is dropping a new song on September 16th. The name of this song is Didn't Come This Far. Stone Miller is the artist that I've been watching, man. Stone Miller has a has a unique voice, and he's a worker. Stone Miller's a worker, and I feel like over the next couple months, Stone's coming with some heaters, and I hope y'all are ready. I hope y'all are ready. September 16th, Stone Miller drops Didn't Come This Far. All right, man, we got DJ Cliffy D, Chucky V, and Screenshot. The name of the song is On For The Night. This song drops August 27th at 10 p.m. I'm excited because I wonder if uh, DJ Cliffy D is is rapping in this. Uh, what is he What is he doing? Is it is he mixing? We got DJ Cliffy D mixing Chucky V and Screenshot on the mic. I'm excited, man. I want to see... I want to see what they're they're coming with this. I like Chucky V. I've never heard a screenshot. I like Chucky V, and I, I really enjoy DJ Cliffy D and what he's doing. So uh, y'all go check this out. August 27th, 10 p.m. on YouTube. All right, man, next up. We got an artist I haven't talked about much on my on my channel, on my news. I uh, I kind of stumbled a, across him during the tailgates and tall boys when him and Savannah Dexter got engaged. Shout out to y'all. Congratulations on that. Um, and this individual is Barbo Gator. Uh, I heard Vic and I heard Spank both give him praise on the Country Rap Report. I didn't know who he was. At first, I didn't know who they were talking about. I didn't know if this was somebody, a nickname, somebody they knew or what. And uh, I did some research, found it. Barbo Gator, the name of the song he's about to drop on August 25th is Out the Water. And this video is directed by Ghost. So I'm really excited to, to check this video out. I just did a reaction to Burden. Um... The name of the burden song is Must Have Forgot. Yo, Ghost is super talented at what he's doing, man. We got Ghost, we got Drake McGuire, and we got Brett Windeville. Those three at shooting videos, when I see any of those three names, I immediately know that uh, it's going to be fire. So I'm excited for that one. Barbo Gator, Out the Water, directed by Ghost, drops... I'm sorry. It drops August 25th at 4 p.m. on YouTube. Go check that out. All right, man, next up, we got Burden. I just talked about this song. The name of the song is Must Have Forgot. It's out now, and y'all need to go check this one out. Burden is super talented. Burden has been through a lot in his life. He talks about it in his music a lot. He does get a little political. That's that's what he wants to do, man. That's his thought, his feelings, and uh, this song is not political at all. It explains his struggles, what he's going through, and uh, kind of like, yo, Y'all must have forgot. I don't, this don't bother me, man. 
do what you want. It don't bother me. I got a reaction to that. Y'all go check that out, man. Show us some love. First, go check out his song. Go, go listen to the song on his YouTube and then come back and check out my reaction. All right, man. Next up, we got Coca. Coca in the Country Rap Report. I know I spoke about the Country Rap Report a lot. I'm sorry, the Country Rap Symphony. I take that back. I do speak about the Country Rap Report a lot, though, too. I love those guys. Shout out Vic and Spank. But uh, no, Coca and the Country Rap Symphony will be out soon. I should have a date by next week. I would think by the next episode of my Country Rap News, you should get a date. I know I said that last week, but look, these, these dudes are grinding, trying to get the videos done, trying to get everything together. It, they want it to be perfect for y'all, and y'all should appreciate that. So stay tuned for that. They should be rolling that out here pretty soon. All right, man, we got, this is my new artist right here. This is my new artist for this episode. The name of this artist is Kai Music. And uh, Kai is a, he's a good dude, man. I uh, interact with him a lot on Instagram. Not a lot. I can't say a lot. I see him a lot on Instagram, you know, I, and I interact when I can. But, uh, yo, he's he's coming up quick, y'all. Be, be on the lookout. Kai Music is coming. And he's got an EP that drops September 9th. The name of the EP is the EP. So I thought that was pretty cool. He does have a feature with Chad Arms on there. So if you're rocking with Chad Arms, just know Chad Arms is about to uh, have a feature on Kai Music's EP. And the name of it is the EP. And it drops September 9th. Ooh, that was kind of hard. The name of the EP is the EP. <laughs> All right, man. Next up, we got Seth Anthony. Yo, Seth is a, Seth is a good dude, man. Um, Seth has a crazy energy. Uh, I see Hard Target and Seth a lot. Um, on videos and it looks like they got a great friendship i wouldn't be shocked to see um drunk tonight has heart target in i think it's out i gotta go check it out yeah it is out seth anthony drunk tonight is out now so uh, go check that out slide over to his youtube check out the video because that's what i'm gonna go do after this all right man we got some some memphis music legends um i want to express this to everybody listening to this these guys have been doing this for a long time, especially the one that the feature is. We got West 10. The name of the song is Country Talk, and the feature is Al Capone. Yo, this song, Country Talk, um, a gentleman by the name of Uncle Turtle. If you don't know who Uncle Turtle is, you need to go over to YouTube and check out Uncle Turtle. Uncle Turtle does this country rap music as well. He pointed them out. He pointed this song out, actually. I've heard of West 10. Um, I've heard of Al Capone, but he pointed this song out, Country Talk. And boy, it's an amazing song, man. If y'all got some time, go check out West 10. The name of the song is Country Talk featuring Al Capone. Look, these dudes have been doing this for a long time. Like I said, man, they've been in this game. They know music, and they're doing real Memphis music, real Memphis rap. Uh, they got a great sound to them, and I, I really enjoy West 10. But uh, yo, that was it for this episode of Country Rap News with Captain Kurt. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Make sure y'all tune in next week. Um, I should have some news on some new music that I ain't talked about yet. Stay tuned. That's going to be interesting. I hope I hope to have the news by next week. By next week, I should have everything uh, ready to go for y'all. And uh, man, I'm excited for what Country Rap's got coming up, man. I'm excited for the growth of this genre. I love watching it grow as a, as a content creator, as a fan, as a just a person that enjoys music. I love it. Um, make sure y'all like, subscribe, show me some love, leave a comment, do what you got to do. And uh, the most important thing that I want everybody to remember is be nice to one another. Y'all know you want some of the dopest stickers in the game. The first three people to send me a DM on Instagram at Captain Kurt underscore reacts. I got you. I will mail you about three stickers to you free of charge. First three people, leave a comment on this YouTube video and let me know that you sent me a DM and I got you. To anyone else, I am doing two of these stickers for $5 shipped to your house. $5. Five bucks, man. Uh, it's a case, less than a case of soda. Less than a case of soda. So support your boy. Come grab some stickers, man. Captain Kurt reacts. Over and out. <laughs> Hey, head on over to Redneck Nation, use promo code CREEKER420, and grab you some merch, motherfucker!